Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Amos. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually harness the power of code with your designs. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the following scenario. You make a design, you outline your entire text so you, the font will be preserved, and then you send it to your developer and he goes like, wow, this looks really great, so awesome, but this is not a text. Then you go back to your design, make a command Z, convert it back to a shape, and then send it back, and so on and so forth. Now you can do that endlessly and you, can, you, you will consume both your time and the developer's time. Now there is a workaround for this and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. So without further ado, I'll jump right in and let me know down in the comment below what you think about it. Hello everybody and welcome to yet another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually embed your custom font within an SVG and the reason that you want to do that is so you can actually uh, change your your text to your heart art content okay without actually going to do the following thing which most of us do which is making the font as a shape meaning making it option command O and then making it a shape I'm just gonna export this SVG okay and it waits in 7 kilobytes but it should work as a shape but it's not uh, optimal by any means because it cannot be searched by Google or it cannot be changed later by someone else if you, you're gon going to pass, pass on your uh, SVG so what you want to do is just keep your style, your text style intact, okay, the text layer intact, and then hit to the SVG again. I'm just going to replace this and open it up in my browser like so. And as you can see, we have a live text. We have our live text, but it is Times Roman. It is not the custom font that we have in our design. So how can we change that? Let's see. If you uh, have seen my previous uh, video, you need to go to Font Squirrel, hit Generator, upload your font, like so. Okay. Hit Expert, True Type. Okay. Custom subsettings, web, web only, whatever. Hebrew and English because I have these letters in my font. And then hit base64. Okay, embed font in CSS. It is really important to check. And then click yes. I have, I have the fonts as uh, the fonts are legally mine. So so to speak. Okay, and then download your kit. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already downloaded my kit. So I'm going to open it up, style sheet. And as you can see here, we have the entire font, okay, like so, as a font face. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to open up my trash my trash SVG okay and as you can see here let's just close this up we have the code that uh, sketch generated for us this is the uh, icon itself and this is the text okay as you can see it uh, it shows it it shows it as a trash with capital T now if you consider this entire SVG as an HTML, you can go ahead and just let me delete this. You can go ahead and just put style. Okay, let's close it up with style. And then we have a CSS within our SVG. And then I'm just gonna copy 
my font family, my uh, entire font set. Okay, just I'm just gonna copy this font family, and as you can see, we have an ID trash. Now, normally, you can you can do it both ways. You can uh, do a hashtag, call it trash brackets and font family. Now it uh, it should work like so but I normally do do it as a class meaning I'm going to call it dot trash trashed whatever and then I'm gonna change this ID to class call it trashed like so and now we're going to test this out. Let's open it up in our browser. And bam, we have our custom font and we can change it to, let's say, what? Bam, we can change it like so with a snap without actually making any changes. And it is being readable by Google search okay let's see how much uh, this weights uh, it makes it to 64 kilobytes because again we have the entire font set okay so let's say you don't want to go through all this process and just want a Google font in your design well you can do that let's just delete this entire thing okay do note that your file may wait a lot if you embed a custom font because all the characters and stuff and just gonna comment uncomment this by hitting command slash slash and what this basically does is just takes a link from Google and just link it back into your SVG I'm gonna save it your file will be at 3 kilobytes and it should work let's see bam it works now let's go to my font book and as you can see it has been disabled so it it is working without any problem it's not linked to my uh, local font and it, it just works you can do that let's try with another font I'm gonna browse, um, let's say, I want a Roboto. No, I'm gonna get Monteserrat, okay? Everyone loves this font for some reason. So I'm gonna select this font. Go right here to my family and yeah. I'm gonna copy this link like so. Go back to Atom, do this, paste in, and then just paste in this entire font family, like so. And now let's see if it is working. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna disable my Monteserrat. Monteserrat. Yeah. I'm gonna disable all my Monteserrat families okay so it will it should work let's go back in and BAM as you can see it's still working even though I've disabled my font and the file size is just 3 kilobytes because it has less characters you can get the, the file if you want from my repository you can just go to download, download the zip, and play around with the trash SVG, which has both ways, the embedded custom font and the linked one. Hope it has been valuable to you, and see you next time.